What's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to hire real estate virtual assistants for your real estate investing business. Uh, so if you give me just about 10 minutes, I'm going to show you the exact virtual assistants that I use and recommend, how they can save you 40, 50, even 100 hours per week or more, and also just how to choose the best ones, how much they cost, different things like that. Uh, so at the end of this 10 minute real estate video, you're pretty much going to be an expert in getting a virtual assistant for your real estate investing business. Uh, so that being said, before we jump into this video, please smash that like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm and let's get into it. Okay, so for starters, the whole reason you need a real estate virtual assistant is that you know it's going to save you a ton of time, but you're also not going to have to pay someone 50, 100,000 or whatever you would pay a normal employee per year to work for you. There's a lot of risk and costs associated with that. So with virtual assistants, you can pay them per task. You can pay them, you know, for five hours a week, 10 hours per week. And many times these virtual assistants are overseas. Uh, so you, you don't have to pay them, you know, $50 an hour. You can pay them as little as $5 an hour, $10 an hour, $15 an hour. It all depends on their skill set, what they're doing, their experience, reviews, different things like that. So some of the things that they can do for you as a real estate investor is number one, uh, research real estate leads to find the value. So they could come up with comps. They could also just do research as to, you know, looking up probate records, looking up eviction notices, maybe even doing some skip tracing. Uh, so any type of like manual labor type of like data research that you could do and you could probably do it pretty well, but it might take you hours and hours and hours. You could have a real estate virtual assistant do that. And I have one that spends about 40 hours a week just looking up property data uh, through my MLS and giving me the most motivated prospects to market to. Uh, so it's it's massively valuable you know, to have someone to do that. I wouldn't be able to spend 40, 50, 60 hours a week in my real estate business and then also spend 40 hours a week just you know, doing research. They can also do cold calling for you. So if you have a list of names, which you could also get them to, to build for you, they could call you know, 1,000 people per week or 100 people per day. And I can guarantee you, you know, you're not going to get a huge response rate, but you could get 5, 10, 20 extra leads every single month, which would be huge. You know, they can also do coordination, managing CRM, social media. They can do blogging. You can get them to answer phones. And I'll show you the services that I use uh, in a second here. Video editing. So if you're doing a lot of videos and you want to get your video not, not only edited, but maybe across multiple channels like IGTV, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, you know, you can have someone edit it. Uh, so that you can upload it on all those platforms. So no matter where you are in your real estate investing business, I can guarantee you that you can find 40 additional hours for somebody to do. And maybe you have a couple virtual assistants where you know one person does 10 hours of social media, 10 hours of your website, video editing, cold calling, following up with the leads, direct mail, different things like that. There are so many things you can take off your plate uh, so that you can have more free time to build your business, scale your business. And you know that being said, let's jump into it. I'll show you exactly which services I use and how to hire one. So my favorite place to work with is called Upwork. And all you have to do is you go to jobs and you would do post a job. And you can also search by freelancers just to find somebody, but I prefer just posting a job and then people apply and then you can choose the best one. So as you do create new job post, uh, short, short term, and then continue. And then let's say I need a video editor or social media manager. You know, I would just type in um, real estate investor looking for a social media manager and then you'd come down here they already have the categories most of the time so social media marketing you do next and then with your description you want to be very clear because sometimes these people are overseas so you want to keep it like just a couple sentences but you also want to be specific so if I was hiring a social media person I would just say look I need a social media manager for Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and let's say YouTube. Um, and then what you'd wanna do is you'd wanna post a profile of exactly what you're looking for. So if I was hiring for this person, I would say, I want my social media to look <laughs> like this. And then you would just post you know, the profile of somebody, maybe in real estate, it doesn't even have to be in real estate. A lot of times some of the best social media people might just be in different industries. It could be food, it could be fitness. And you can say, look, I want, I want the, you know, the profile, the videos, everything to look like this. I'll give you the content. I just want you to upload it, optimize it, do your thing. Uh, so then you'd post the profile there and you'd say next, and you can also upload projects. Uh, you know, you can say ongoing project. I typically don't fill out all the screening questions. I like to just have the, the, the most amount of candidates to choose from. So you do next. 
and since I already typed in social media marketing, it, it already filled in a lot of this, but uh, you can you can add different things if you want. Um, you don't necessarily need to add all this stuff. Sometimes I might add a couple keywords. And then the most important thing is entry level, intermediate, expert. This all depends on your budget. Like if you're doing something like data entry, you can do entry level. Even if you're doing social media, you can do entry level. Um, you know, I'll just do intermediate uh, just for this video. And then I do worldwide talent location. I just want as many people as possible applying. We're in the digital age now. It doesn't really matter where people work. Um, and I say anybody here and then I'll just do one freelancer, but you can always hire more than one person. And I don't even fill out all this stuff. I just try to get straight to the, so pay by the hour, you know, for something like social media where it's like a weekly type thing, you probably want to pay by the hour. And I'll say, I'll, I'll set my own range and I'll say anywhere from like five to 20 bucks per hour. And what's going to happen is people are just going to apply and they'll say, look, I'll do it for $5 an hour. I'll do it for, some people might even be outside this range. They'll say, look, with my skills and everything, I don't want to be, you know, making five to 20 an hour. I need to be making 25 per hour. And sometimes you might have people that'll do it for like $2 an hour. And you might not want to, you typically never want to go with the cheapest person uh, for any type of provider. Um, so you can say more than six months. And then it's probably going to be less than 30 hours per week. If you were hiring like a cold caller, maybe it would be more than 40 hours. Uh, maybe, it, maybe it would actually only be like 10 or 20. But let's just do less than 30 hours per week. And then you would just basically say post job now. And I'm not going to do that. And then once, and I'll just show you one of my job posts so you can see what it looks like. You click on all job posts, leave this. And people will start applying. So here's an example. I, I needed some uh, just research done, just very simple type stuff. I was looking to build a list of YouTube videos that met a certain criteria. And I had 18 people apply. You know, someone like this is really good. 100% success rate, only $3.75 per hour. And actually, these were the two people I hired. So I had a lot of, let's look at the proposals. You're, you're going to get a lot of people applying. And, and uh, you know, most of them are probably pretty good. But I would probably only hire someone that has at least a 90% success rate, has made some money, and also is, is a good deal. So there's a lot of people that could have done this job probably pretty well. Um, but that's the main criteria. You don't want to just hire anybody. If they don't have any, if they haven't earned anything, if they don't have good reviews, you know, you need to be, be careful with that. And with hiring virtual assistants, I would actually recommend hiring two that are really good and see which one does the better job and have them like split up the work a little bit. Uh, that, that'll help you get better results. So that's how you hire on Upwork. And let me just show you Fiverr real quick. That's another really good one for real estate investors. So Fiverr is really simple. You basically just hire per task. So if you don't want to hire someone for like 10 hours per week or whatever it may be, you can just get so much different stuff done. And I have a link below uh, that you can sign up uh, to Fiverr with. I am an affiliate, so I get a couple bucks from that. But as you can see, they do all types of graphic design, digital marketing, SEO, video marketing, email marketing. They have so much. I mean, video you can get blog posts done. And not everything is 5 bucks. It starts at $5. And then, honestly, you can go up to, like, thousands of dollars. Uh, Fiverr is becoming a lot more popular. You can get your LinkedIn profile done, white papers, case studies, email copies, so, so much different things. You can even hire actors to do make YouTube videos for you. I actually did that when I was first getting started. Uh, so there's a lot of different things. And then the same, you know, you want to find someone that has good reviews. That's really the one tip I can give you. The last three virtual assistants I would recommend for real estate investors. Uh, one is Pat Live. So that's an answering service that will answer your leads for you. So I'm just going to type that in real quick. So here it is. It's a live phone answering service. So you don't have to answer your calls. You know, if you're doing a lot of marketing, you're going to get a lot of calls. Most of them are not going to be great. So you can give Pat Live a script. They, they work with a ton of real estate investors and I have a link below to sign up with them. Um, but they're just a great professional service that's affordable, reasonable, everything like that. If you're sending out direct mail, I would recommend click to mail so you, that you don't have to like write your envelopes and everything like that. And I have a click to mail tutorial video on my channel to, to show you how to use that. But you don't want to spend hours and hours handwriting letters and envelopes when you can just have a service where you upload your list and it sends it out for you. And then lastly, if you don't want to mess around with your website too much and go through all this back end stuff and you just want a professional website for real estate investors that you know works i'd recommend uh carrot this is the website that i have and there's a link below that you can check out but it's just very user friendly it looks great i've gotten deals from it before they have trainings they have they're very helpful it's affordable 
Um, I would just highly recommend it if you don't want to have to hire somebody to build out your website and deal with all that type of stuff. This is this is just probably one of my favorite resources as a real estate investor. So thanks for watching this video on virtual assistance for real estate investing. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to respond. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.